Looks like you reached a bipartisan agreement on infrastructure. Fancy word for bridges, roads. <laughs> Transit systems, high-speed internet, clean drinking water, cleaning up and capping, capping the orphan wells, over thousands of them abandoned and abandoned mines, and a modern, resilient electric grid to build. We very much want it to pass. Um, uh, our um, chairman of our committee of jurisdiction is saying that we'd like to see it, and perhaps we may have to have some discussion about it. But I, I can't commit to passing something that I don't even know what it is yet, uh, but I'm hoping for the best. Their House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Biden speaking after a bipartisan group of senators reached a tentative agreement on the $550 billion infrastructure package. It marks a significant breakthrough in the drive for a massive infusion of new spending for roads, bridges, and other critical projects. Joining us now to discuss is Bloomberg congressional reporter Mackenzie Hawkins. Mackenzie, so we know that they had agreed on a framework already in late June, but they had struggled for weeks. So what led to this breakthrough? So the senators, as you said, have been struggling for weeks to hammer out details on transit, on water, and today they finally reached an agreement. And they're headed in moments, potentially, to a procedural vote that will allow the senators to move forward on this bipartisan framework and hopefully, as Majority Leader Schumer hopes, get to passage next week. So what does the timeline look like between now and when they recess in August? So they have a procedural vote teed up tonight, and Majority Leader Schumer says that they have the 60 necessary votes to move forward. And then they have about a week's time to hammer out amendments and move forward on actual legislative text, because tonight we just have a framework. The Senate recesses on August 9th, but Schumer has warned senators that they could be here later than that date if they fail to get the, partisan, or the bipartisan infrastructure framework passed. So, Mackenzie, how does this bill fit in with the rest of the Democrats' agenda? So there are two bills going on with infrastructure right now. The first is this bipartisan framework that deals with hard infrastructure, surface transportation, water, broadband. And there's a separate $3.5 trillion package that Democrats are looking to pass on their own through what's called a budget reconciliation process. Now, Democrats are hoping that they can get procedural votes done on that separate budget resolution also before they head to the August recess, but they're not anticipating hammering out the details of that bill until they return in September. And it could take until the end of the legislative calendar in December before they finally move forward on the $3.5 trillion package, which carries most of Biden's economic agenda.